everybody, my name is Sandra. Um, I'm going to show you today how I make these paintings. Uh, people have been asking me to make a video so they can actually see the process of uh, these paintings. So let's get started. Before I start, I will show you what kind of materials I use. So for the white negative space, I actually use uh, household paint, uh, wall paint. Uh, any brand is good, uh, it's just you need a lot of it, so you want to keep it a little bit cheaper. Um, then I add Floetrol. This is my type of Floetrol that I use. Uh, you can have different brands, uh, it depends in what country you live in. Uh, so the Floetrol and then I add water. Um, for the measurements, I would say if you use one liter of um, white paint, then you have to add a half a liter of the Floetrol. Uh, then with my paint, I add another half a liter of water, but with the water you have to be careful, it depends on the brand of paint uh, that you use. So just try and see where, where you get. Um, for my colored paint, I use different brands, but I actually prefer this type. It's the Amsterdam acrylic paint. Um, to mix it, it's really easy. It doesn't clog. Um, it's not too watery. It's yeah, perfect, perfect consistency. Uh, so same thing. I add this type of Floetrol with the paint and add water. Um, and I put them in these type of tubes, but you can also put them in these type of things. It's whatever you prefer. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so put on my gloves because it's a bit messy. As you can see, my clothes are messy. My whole studio is messy, but I just love the process. So here we go. I have my white paint, which is already mixed with the Floetrol and the water. Then I've already chosen my colors that I will work with today. So let me just adjust the camera a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. Here I am, all ready to make a new painting. Um, so I start with my white paint, which is already mixed with the Floetrol and the water. I put a lot on it. Voilà. Also, I'm a Belgian, so if I use funny words or they're incorrect, I'm very sorry for it, but I try my best. And I think voila is not really a word that, yeah, I think it's really me. I use it a lot, voila. So, I spread out the paint, trying to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Here we go, Ugh, go to the corner, great. Now I'll turn it around. This is easy. I can see in the camera what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, spreading out the white paint on the canvas is mostly the boring part. But yeah, when it's a small canvas, it's pretty fast and easy. But when you do a big one, oof, that can be really hard. So, but my idea is for the small ones, you can make a series of it and then with using the same colors and then you can hang them together and then you have a big painting. So, up to you. Here we go. That's it. Just now I'm going to make sure that the white paint's everywhere. I use my hands to spread it out because yeah. this paint is so liquid and so watery that at the end it will all level out when it's dry. So I think that's why I like it so much. You can't see the flaws anymore. Here we go. Just perfect. My 
and paper towels. All right, so I will use my Payne's Gray, which gives it a smoky, cool, mysterious glow, glow, I don't know. But yeah, I love this color. So Payne's Gray. Then Prussian Blue. Love it. Then I use like a, it's it is like magenta. Let me just call it magenta. But it's not. It's some type of red. And then orange. Well I say orange, but it's actually vermilion. But vermilion for me that's orange. And then I like to use this pink. It's a very fluorescent pink. Pink, pink. I don't have a lot anymore, but whatever. I just need a little bit. So here we go. Where's my mallet? Oopsie. So I use this to smash the colors. So you have like an explosion. You get swirls. Yeah. So here we go. I'll take some. Make sure I have some paper towel just in case. Voilà. All right, let me think. Okay, just go for it. You see, I use this, to be careful that it doesn't drip. Um, the paint stays on the mallet, so I use this to stamp around the um, splashy place, just to make sure that I have the composition that I want, because it's not always going where you want it to be, but this way you have a little bit of control over it. So this gives you a easy way to stamp. Oh wow, I love this. I think there's a lot of paint on it. We'll see. We'll see how it dries out. Oh, I think I have to... It's not good like this. Oh yeah. Here we go. Wow. That's a lot of color. But yeah, I like it. All right, let me put this by the side. I will use my heat gun now to make sure all the bubbles are out and then some cells will pop up. I don't know if you can see it good, but yeah, I'll, I'll put you closer at the end. But I have some nice webbing, some cells popped up. And that's because when you smash it, there's so much air underneath your paint. So the air wants to come out. So it comes up and when it pops, it gives you like a cell because the white paint that was underneath comes up and then like, boom. So yeah, I'll show you later, but here there's like a big white spot, which I don't like. So I'll just use my finger to make sure the colors voila, get mixed. That's good. All right. When you blow on it, sometimes, um, you think it's white but the moment you blow um, the colors that are underneath they pop up so you always want to make sure to check that because afterwards when it dries it gives you like a weird look so always make sure you you blow on it Yeah. 
you can also use a straw for like for example this part here is really like straight and hard and the rest is like blurry so you want it to even that out so it's cool some some other colors popped up I don't think I have to do much more to it. Wow, this one was really fast. You have like paintings that will take you like half an hour to an hour with this technique, sorry. Um, and then you can have paintings in like five minutes or even less. Well, which is cool when you want to do like a lot. You don't need much time. Every time the process to do this is so fun, you can see the colors are like fighting and blending. Yeah, I got some nice things going on here. Right. I think I'll keep this one. All right, so I will take the camera a little bit closer, make sure, hold on, that I still have to touch up the corner where I held it. Let me see if there's any other problems, flaws. No, that's pretty much it. All right. Here we go. This is the painting. Well, there's a glare on it, but oh, I love this part. Look at the colors, how they blend and the white. The white is actually the cells that I told you, the air that is underneath and it pops up. That's how I get cells. Here you go, some more cells. And you see that smoky flare, smoky glare? I don't know how to say it, but that's what I love. That's the paint's gray. So if you want that on your paintings, use paint gray. And ta-da! This is how I make my paintings. So hope to see you next time. Bye!